Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, man, we got some disturbing news and some amazing news. I am the reason for this goddamn patch. And I'm going to tell you why, man. And I'm going to really break down my list of things that need to be patched because Mike is listening to me, bro. I'm taking full credit for this patch. So if you are mad, get in them goddamn comments. But anywho, man, I'm going to really go over the secrets of the patch and all that other hoopla. And um, I'm going to really let y'all know what y'all need to push for to make this game amazing, okay? Um, but yeah, let's get into this patch and I'm going to let y'all know what I know. But before we get into that, make sure y'all subscribe if you are new. Drop a goddamn like if you hear my voice right now and comment down below what you want patched or for the algorithm. Just put algo, whatever. There. If you support the swan, comment down below, show love and all that poo blah, man. But look, so if y'all didn't know, I think since 2K18 or it was 19, they implemented auto steals, bro. I have been the only nigga roasting Michelle Wayne about this, bro. I swear to you, I have been giving it to him, bro. Pause. I have been, dude, my whole thing is, bro. Why in the hell are you making auto steals? This is why 2K has gotten ruined. The skill gap has gotten diminished. All these things are now auto that were never auto in the past 2Ks that took skill, bro. Just like shooting is so easy, past 2Ks it wasn't. And now it's ruined the game. Who gonna look up a jump shot video? Who gonna look up anything about the game if everything is so easy to do? They killing their own game. They don't even realize it. They think by appealing to the super casuals, you gonna have everyone happy, but they're not realizing that it's gonna draw less interest because people have nothing to strive for. They're not gonna look on YouTube, then you got all your creators upset because they not getting views because the game's so damn easy. Who gonna look up a jump shot video? Who gonna look up dribble moves, all the, oh, it's all so easy. It's so easy to perform now, bro. Dead ass. People who could never have a chance versus me now have a chance. Uh, keep in mind, I have a 99 win percent on current and like a 90 something on, on next gen. I'm a god, but you know, I'm just saying, man. But anywho, let's get into these patch notes and then I'm gonna really go in to a lot of this stuff. And don't mind the level, I'm a level 40 on next gen, but yeah, man. So look, our latest current gen patch is live. Season four prep for Friday, blah, 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 gameplay change to pass interceptions and more let's see what they talking about it's not out for next gen very annoying okay so they, they got some ass ass scans blah blah who cares general updates tattoo updates nobody cares look at this gameplay <laughs> the user is now required to press the steal button in order to successfully intercept the pass now let's go over this real quick, man. Let's have a discussion about this. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below. This terrible ass trash 2K development team, man. How the fuck are you gonna add in auto steals, bro? That's like making it to where if you are open, it's an auto green light. You don't even have to time your jump shot. Anytime you are open at a certain amount, it's just green. Imagine that. A, 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 a auto dunk, an auto chase down block, a, a auto dribble move that is just oh amazing, right? A, a auto stun just every time, like, bro. Fix your game, RNG bullshit, nigga. Auto steals, bro. And now everyone's big ass, my players and six nines and shit on next gen and shit. This shit crazy. But it, it is terrible, bro. You know, of course, interceptor should work and be amazing, but you should have to press square, bro. You should have to press square. The real problem, this is what you guys don't realize. A lot of y'all no skill people and like old heads or young kids, especially y'all be like, real basketball, blah, blah, blah. Look, I'm gonna tell you something, I fuck with y'all still, even though I be talking a lot of shit, but it's not you. I just think y'all are lost, bro. Y'all just don't understand, my nigga. The real issue, I'm gonna tell you, bro. The real issue isn't movement. It's not offense, bro. It's defense. 
they need to improve the defense, right? They need to buff Interceptor. They shouldn't make it. Mike Wang is such a bitch that this nigga does shit like this to just fuck up the game. Because he couldn't make it to where Interceptor was working. He added auto steal so niggas would stop complaining about it, right? That's crazy because, you know, like with the CPU, they always, y'all don't realize this. They always get them steals no matter what, right? So to make it to where people are actually getting interceptions, that's why he added auto steal. Because he saw such an ass developer in that whole gameplay team that they're fucking pathetic and they can't fix shit. They can't improve the defense because they're such shitty ass developers that they nerfed the offensive movement. What the fuck? That shit is ass. Buff the clamps, buff the lateral quickness. Let these niggas clamp niggas the fuck up. Let the movement go crazy because that brings views and enticement to your games for the flashy niggas, for the niggas like me, for the dribble gods. I, I know y'all don't like that stuff, but listen, all that dribbling stuff, I'm not even a dribble guy. All that dribbling stuff does nothing, bro. Like, it's not helping people win games. Why you think the left, right so OP? It's basic. Anyone can do it, bro. The no dribble gods are out here destroying in the comp, bro. They're not good. They're not good players, bro. They're, they just spin around and shit and, or they just spam it. They're not comp, bro. The niggas who play like me, the meta niggas, like that, that, that will always be the way, my boy. But the real issue is defense, man. Can, can y'all imagine that this has really been a thing, bro? Auto fucking steals, bro. You're a bot. If you ever wanted some auto steal in the fucking game, bro, I'm not going to hold you, bro. You're down bad. Now, let's see what else they talk about, man. Various stability and performance improvements have been made throughout the city. Man, bro, I don't know why it's saying city because it's not even out on next gen. Um, bro, I... <laughs> Here's another issue, bro. Y'all let me know if y'all agree with it, man. Badge grinding. Even after Rebirth, I timed it, bro. I timed it. I just made a new build. Well, I didn't make a new build. I just started grinding. And it took nine days, four plus hours every day. All this adds up to 40 hours to max out his badges. And he's only a 96. Okay, so he's not 99 yet. About to be 99. But think about that. 40 hours after Rebirth. You don't think that's a problem with your fucking game? And we already have to pay all this money. It's like 400k VC on next gen, big dog. You stupid bitch, Zach Timmerman. Do y'all niggas know that the reason it takes so long to grind builds in this shit is because they're finessing companies and making up fake numbers about active users and time played in session, all this shit just to make all these arbitrary numbers and all these fake shits so they can keep their job, right? All these developers are creating all these things and tactics where the user base is unhappy, right? But the numbers don't show that because people are playing more than ever now because just to grind a bill, bro, if they were to just play the game, they wouldn't even be playing that long, bro. But now they're so desperate to grind a build so they can play with their friends and have fun. And they got us doing all these hula hoops, man. Imagine how long it would take to upgrade a build without the rebirth. 80 plus hours, bro? Really? Really? Really, bro? Really? Really, guys? Why? 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 This ain't no MMO, it's 2K, bro. Niggas wanna play the game. Guys, I did it live on stream. By the way, follow me on Twitch, man. I stream every day on that hoe during the day. Check me out, show support, sub to me. Very hilarious stuff. We don't just play 2K there, you know? Dropping niggas off, all that type of shit. Playing Demon Slayer, COD, roasting niggas, roasting racists, but yeah. In the description. But look, think about this, bro. That means it had to be like 80, 60, 70. That's insane, bro. Imagine a normal person 
We can't accept this, my nigga. Y'all niggas need to speak out. Flame these niggas on Twitter. They hate that shit. I'm telling you, bro. Roast these niggas. You know? Maybe don't be too crazy because you get blocked and then you can't keep doing it. But, you know, make these niggas feel shame, bro. Make these niggas look bad, bro. It's the only way. I I'm telling you, bro. The, the badge grinding is ridiculous. Shooting is way too easy, bro. These are all things I want fixed in a coming patch. Shooting is way too easy. I, I explained earlier, who the fuck is looking up jump shot videos? This, the, this 2K is dead. My views are cruise, big dog. Um, and <laughs> I know I ain't been too consistent or whatever, but bro, like this is like 2K18 views, bro. And it's not a lot of people even getting views. It's like... It, it ain't the YouTubers, bro. It's the game. It's the two-user base. They're just finessing us, bro. They they really ringing us out of all our money, bro. Like, it's crazy. Like, I love 2K, but it's like, bro, y'all niggas is doing too much, bro. Like, do y'all niggas need to be that goddamn shady, bro? You making niggas have to play on a dead game because you want to amplify. You already do all these microtransactions, and now you make niggas have two different games, right? And it's like, it's too much, bro. Like, if you going to ring us out for two games, just like, bro, chill on the microtransactions, man. Now, now you got to have double Gatorade. Like, look. To have the double blue bar now, guys, you have to have gym rat or do your drills, and you have to buy all three Gatorades to have the double blue bar. If you're a PG, you need it. If you can play it at the comp level, you can still do good without it and all that stuff, but you need it, bro, because the gameplay is so slow. There's a lot of bump steals, and you're putting yourself at a disadvantage because your opponent's gonna have it, bro. I wish it would automatically be in the game. I really wish No Stamina would be in the game. I know a lot of y'all, No Stamina, oh my God, y'all are already dribbling. Look, bro, the best 2Ks, I know y'all are new 2K players, you never played at a certain level, but the best 2Ks, bro, the best 2Ks had No Stamina, but amazing defense, okay? So that kills that debate. This is not a new idea. You play 2K16, there was way less dribbling than all these other 2Ks, bro. And, but that's because the defense was phenomenal, bro. Uh, another thing is, man, I really hope they improve the offensive movement and dribble moves, but it, I, I don't think they're going to do that. They really need to buff defense, bro. The the defense um, it, it, it's terrible, bro. Like, people are making everything. Everything is open. But, I mean, now the game's, like, ruined in a sense because... If you play next gen, like if you go to next gen stage, I know a lot of y'all aren't aware. People are now using 6ix9ine builds to guard PGs, okay? This is when you know your game is ass. I don't care what y'all say, this is facts. When a 6ix9ine player can guard a 99 speed PG, your game's terrible. That means something's wrong with your game. No 6ix9ine person should be able to guard a 99 speed person period this is facts right right okay so when they nerf the movement now everyone's bringing out cheesy ass six nine builds with 99 damn steel and they can play center and shoot and all that like you just ruined the game bro and now niggas is going up against these six nine fucking neanderthals because you niggas are fucking incompetent big dog okay what they need to do is improve the defense and put the movement back. I, I know y'all are left, right, or blah, blah, bro, bro. The movement was way better. Previous patch, bro. I don't care, bro. The fix should not be to nerf the offense. It should be to buff the defense. They clearly have to change shit because the views is not there for the game, bro. It's clearly something wrong. Um paint defense with paint mashing builds <laughs> how many years in a row since bro since 2k18 paint mashing has been terrible my theory about it is they make the paint defense terrible because people kept messing open layups right so now uh 
to nullify that and make open layups happen way um, less, they like made it to where like you just make everything in the paint type shit. And that that's how they combated it, man. Because they can't fix their game, they keep using the same engine. Of course, you're gonna have the same problems, you stupid bitch, cheap ass nigga. And another issue is Pro-Am 3v3. On current gen, you all look the same. It's not a different jersey. Fix it, bitch. Like, what, what are y'all doing, bro? Like, goddamn. Any of y'all can put y'all's list down below, whatever. Um, You let me know, man, Um, down below. Make sure y'all always go on Twitter, be active. Anytime 2K tweets, say something. Fuck it, bro. Oh, y'all niggas just wanna, want a better game. The stage and park record, man. It needs to be separated, bro. These losses I have ain't even because of me, bro. The stage and park record need to be separated, bro. Okay? Everything else is separated. The wreck don't count with the park. The 3v3 pro don't count with the park. The None of this counts with the park, bro. So, ever since Annoying said it... <laughs> In 18, despite me, because I was always a nigga playing stage and then park and stuff like that, and you know, bragging about my win percent record. But if I was to bring the ante up, then I would have like a worse record. Like, it, this is partially the reason because the record shit, but also because like it no longer took skill. Like, niggas was doing three center shit after 17, stage no longer took any type of real skill. And it was just annoying after that, you know? But all you gotta do is take the stage, you fucking idiot bitches. I've been telling you niggas, I've been DMing LD. Why won't y'all fix it? The stage should be a place where people can go and it's just like scrimmages, man. The people, you're, 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 you're ruining your game. A lot more people would play stage, gambling, all that other type of stuff. It would bring more views to your game if you did not have stage and park for the same record, you just have a stage record. It's like a rank system in a sense, you know, separated, bitch. It's not fucking hard, nigga. It's not the same comp level. So just switch it, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with these niggas? I don't get it. I've been telling these niggas for years, separated, bro, separated. Put it back how it was. Why add it? It's not the same thing. It's not the same people playing. You separate it for everything else. It's not the same thing. It's in a whole different place. Different type of people, different play styles. Separate it, have it as its own, and people can start to brag about their stage, win percent or whatever, or whatever, bro. But people don't even care about win percent in the stage. Like, it's just like, it would be cool to just add that feature. Then you can really start to decipher who really be bots in the goddamn park blaming it on fucking stage, you know? You feel me? A lot of niggas be lying about their records saying they stage players and they really not. But you can't see they park shit or they stage shit. Um, events are non-existent, bro. Like, <laughs> I, I don't I don't see any like real events, the same events over again. They, it needs to be more more it's like flashy stuff maybe rewards instead of rep the marketing team y'all did y'all did terrible um what is the point of this boat bro dead ass what's the point of this boat we all overhyped this i really didn't you know we all overhyped this what's the point of this boat bro it don't ever stop anywhere only place it stopped is treasure island bro and the weak ass park after dark where everyone has the same clothes. Patch that. Fix that. Every time it's park after dark on Friday on um next gen, everyone's looks the same. Everyone looks the same. Fix it, bitch. Um, we thought the shit would constantly be dropped, going different places, and then we'll have new parks and shit. It did not live up to the hype, bro. Like, come on, dog. These niggas finessed us, bro. <laughs> That shit crazy, right? I bet y'all niggas feel shitty, you know? They really finessed us, bro. But yeah, man, that's all I got to say about this, man. Make sure y'all subscribe and like. I'm going to drop a video tomorrow. Be on the lookout. Turn on notice. Make sure y'all check out the stream. 
watch my other videos they are hilarious my non-tutorial gameplay ones check them out there's always some rage toss aspects in them hoes make sure y'all go to the gym eight days a week and drink a gallon of water a day but hey hey here we go again yeah. here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm at made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome, dome.